All right, everybody, welcome to um, ISO versus another episode of ISO versus the world. You know what I mean? This is um, week two um, of my show, my brother, expansion team. So this will be expansion team week two. Um, let me start out by saying um, thank everybody for the love that we get. You know what I mean? Because the first um, episode, everybody loved it. You know what I mean? Everybody was, um, well, not hitting me up. They, they was hitting Earn up, asking about um, what the odds was of getting all that. So, you know what I mean? That was a hit. You know what I mean? Said the episode did real well, which I had a feeling it would do well. You know what I mean? But uh, thank y'all for that. But let me um, start by saying, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow, um, rate, review. You know, I'm talking about the earn, um, Earning Nice Old Podcast. I got to start that. Everything starts with that. And everything else is trickled down from that. You know what I mean? Please, um, we we are still trying to consolidate our plays. So if you listen to us, please, at least, you know, everybody listen to us that listens to us more than once, second or third time or whatever. And I understand people want to listen to us on their own platforms and all that, or whatever platform that they choose. Please, please the second or third time or how many other times, Please listen to us on the major. You know what I mean? That helps us um, with our plays. You know what I mean? Helps us get like account for our plays. You know what I mean? That adds to our collective. But um, yeah, like I said, you know what I mean? This right here is uh, week two expansion team. Um, ISO versus the world. You know what I mean? Starring my brother Woods. You know what I mean? I got him on the yeah. line right now. You know what I mean? Everything's good, man. You know what I mean? How's everything going? Yeah. Everything's well, man. It's been a good, good week for me. Uh, I'm just out here maintaining, just enjoying life, and um, just glad that you had me on. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, know what I mean, we'll, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, everything's sounding all right. Now, I mean, it might sound a little muffled, but now, now I mean, people, yeah, people can hear you, man. Now, I mean, everything's good, man. All right. Damn, I forgot. All right, that's good. Yeah, I forgot to get my damn iPad and shit. But you, but you probably got the um the Joe. You can look at the um the scores from week one. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean the scores from week one. I mean, cause we just do do a review of week one first, and then we can get into like you know what I mean week two. You know what I mean? And you tell them all the odds and all that type of stuff, man. But um. Okay. Or, but um. First of all, now I mean for for the people that that that's watching the the people that's watching us on video, um, the sign this week says it's the script. Now I mean, so everybody saying the NFL is scripted, and everybody gonna know why I say the NFL, <laughs> the NFL is scripted. That's why the sign says it's the script. Now I mean, because of what happened last night, it's the script. <laughs> know what I mean? Cause it got it gotta be scripted. Know what I'm saying? Now I mean we gonna get into that before we go do the um the week one recap. You know the big story is Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was major. Yeah, now I mean five minutes into the game, um, from the reports that I seen, this is Achilles, right? So he done for the season, right? Yeah, he's out. Dunzo. Yeah. So um. Yeah, um, everybody's joking about the NFL is scripted, but that right there, don't that don't that seem like supernatural to it? That seemed like weird. Know what I mean? Cause, yeah, man. Yeah, because the whole the um the whole hype, you know, just we got a thousand Aaron Rodgers interviews about him leaving the Packers and him going to the Jets, and they don't interviews with him with. The whole the, the the buildings in uh, Manhattan in the background and all that, and he coming to New York mm -hmm. and playing all the New York songs and all that. Man, he go out there. Mm -hmm. you now I'm saying he go out there five minutes and get hurt. Now I mean he out there. He got the he out there doing the LeBron James handshakes with his teammate. He got sir. He got special handshakes for everybody. Man, he go there. <laughs> he get he get out there. I mean, not, I mean, not the laugh. I'm just laughing at the situation, but not not not, not that just laugh at him getting injured. But that was wild. Uh, that just seemed crazy. How you feel about that? Oh uh, man, people just said, you know, Jeff fans say they curse. Um, I don't know, man. They say Jimmy Alpha body is somewhere buried in the Meadowlands, and that, that, I you just can't make that shit up, man. For him to get hurt on the fourth play of the, of the damn offensive series, 
that's just heartbreaking. Like I couldn't imagine being a Jets fan. And then the fact that they still fucking won the game, you know what I mean? It, it, that's just some weird energy up there, though, man. I, my heart is full out to Aaron Rodgers because I know he put a lot into the season. And I know that he wanted to show up and show up for the Jets in New York City and for it to go out like that. Like, it couldn't have happened, like, in the third game, fourth game. Damn, we couldn't see not one damn game. I wanted to see how he looked, but... Just a damn shame, man. I'm, I'm, and yeah. hope to keep his head up and uh, hope the recovery, recovery has got me smooth from if he want to come back. I don't even know if he want to come back. Yeah, um, yeah, because I, you know what I mean, some people were saying that at at his age, that in this injury, he might want to just hang it up. Now, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, it might be best for him to hang yeah. think about life after football and just hang it up because. I, I mean, I mean that's just what some people were saying. I mean, my thing is, if you wanted to play, I mean, if you want to play again, I mean, I hope the best for him if he want to play again. But a lot of people were saying that he just going need to go on and hang it up. Now, mm. I don't know how you feel about that. Well, he don't have any kids, uh, no wife. You know, usually, you know, you around this time, you want to spend more time with your family and all that, but. I mean, he could dedicate his life to 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 football. He could, I don't think he should go out like this. Like he sh- he shouldn't go out leaving on his injury. Like I, I mean, it's it's all on what he could do in rehab and how he want to handle that. Because I heard that rehab is something crucial. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. So if he want to go through with all that, then I think he should. Like that's a bad way to go out. That all that hype. I mean, there's a, so much fucking hype for that team this year. And that's just a fucking crazy letdown. You know, I mean, I would, I would want to come back, like, just to go out on my own terms. You know what I mean? Right. Right. No, I mean, I understand that. But, um, yeah, man, that's why I see everybody, man, that's kind of spooky to me. How everybody's joking about the NFL is scripted. That's why I got the sign say it's the script. Because everybody was, you know, they got commercials, you know, Tom Brady and all that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, uh-huh. oh, the script, this, the script, that. And I seen, I, I peeked at the script and this and that and all that. Everybody make, now we making fun of that. But then for that to happen, that kind of like, that just seems spooky to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that seemed like, yo, yeah. yo, like, the, and not like, okay, you got into the game and all that. It's like the game just started. Like, yo, the game <laughs> just started. Yo, that's what happened. People come still coming back to sit still sitting down in their seats. You know what I mean? They didn't even get their food yet. They probably just didn't even, you know, people will take a minute for everybody to get in the stadium. Motherfuckers still probably at the gate. They probably didn't even sit down yet in their fucking seat. So they didn't even get to see Rosie probably. That's just fucked up, man. I feel bad for them Jets fans. Hey, 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 hey man, not to, not, I mean, not to make fun of the situation, but to make fun of it, you know what I mean? Some people, as soon as they got their seats, <laughs> Now I'm saying they see him getting carted out. Like, hold on, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? They in there looking for their seats. Right. They sit down. They look down. I mean, they like, yo, why are everybody standing up, man? Looking like they about to cry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Can he get those seats? Everybody standing up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh man, they cart. Oh man, they cart anymore. But the, but the look he had on his face was, he was he, the look he had on his face looked like, yo, man, I'm done. He probably knew he was done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look he did, he had on his man. Face like, the <laughs> <laughs> the way he just sat down, I, I'm really sat down. Like, what the fuck? I, I thought, like, I don't know. I thought he was like not faking, but I thought it was like a hamstring or something. Like he pulled a hamstring, but you could just see in his face, like, damn, this shit, is, this shit is serious. Like he just like he just knows what he can do. He knew what it was, and, and that's oh man, that shit was crazy though, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit definitely was a letdown, though, man, because I was hyped to see how they look, man. It's just, I don't know, it's just a fucking disappointment, man. Like, I couldn't get not one damn game to see how they look with their offense because that's all they need is a quarterback. Mm. And that's just, it was just a fucking tease, man. All summer, you had the HBO shit, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking tease, man. Yeah, man. See, that's why that's why people think it's scripted. They had all of that, you know what I mean? They put them on. Now I'm saying he probably made a decision. Now I'm saying, oh, 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 Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets, man, put them on hard knocks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, they did all that. You know what I mean? But um, 
Yeah, man. Hopefully, you know what I mean? If you want to come back, you're able to come back. You know what I mean? But if he hang it up, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be mad if he hung it up. You know what I mean? But that's up yeah. to him, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I wouldn't be mad if he hung it up, man. But, um... Yeah, it's a, that's a tough road to recovery, man. And at that age, it's just going to be super hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know how old Kobe was when he did it. I'm quite sure he's a little bit younger. But I know at that age for Achilles, that's some crucial shit. And... Like you said, you can't be mad at him. You want to hang that shit up, man. Just go when you retreat, go in the darkness. You know what I mean? You know you like hanging out in the dark, on the darkness, and just hang it up, man. Just mm -hmm. enjoy life. Make some kids. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel it. You know I mean, I feel that, man. But you know, um, like I said, other than that, man, um, yeah, no, I mean, you might as well just go and do the rundown. Now, I mean, got a rundown of the uh, first week scores and all that. Now, I mean, and. and and, you know, we talk about, yeah, not, I, mean, yeah. I mean, out of the ones that I've seen and all, I can comment, I can comment a little bit about them, but you know, man, I mean, you might as well go ahead and do, do the uh, week one um, rundown, man. All right, well, that's Thursday. We had the Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Lions won 21 to 20. And we know in that game, Chiefs, they were favored by six and a half. I think it dropped down to like four when the news of Travis Kelsey uh, was a playing. So the, the Detroit Lions were the underdogs, and they won it outright. So, I mean, that was a shocker to some, but once Kelsey got hurt, then, you know, I bet a lot of money came in on Detroit mm. to cover the spread. And so I'm quite sure a lot of people made money that night with the injury. Okay, okay. So, okay, so Detroit won, but they – hold on. Did you say they covered the spread? Yeah, Detroit was because it was underdogs. Okay, so okay, okay. That's right. To, that's right. They won a game. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I mean, the spread started off like six points. Kansas City was six point favorites, but I think it closed when the game started at like four point favorites. Once they found out Kelsey was a player. Okay. So I think it ended like uh, Kansas City was minus four, four point favorites. Okay. Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay. So the fact that Detroit won. That that's like an automatic point spread cover because they was expected to lose. Yeah, because they was the underdog. Man. Okay, we got I made mean, when you're the underdogs, you uh, you just can't lose by that certain amount of points. Okay, and since they won, I mean, you okay. can't lose by that certain amount of points. You know what I mean, okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I'm just breaking it down for the people. You know what I mean? I know some people was um was hitting up, you know, was hitting up the you know earn the ice. So um. You know what I mean? Question joint and all that. You know what I mean? We got we got quite you know I mean? we get questions on places like Reddit and all that. You know what I mean? Reddit, um, mm -hmm. for y'all listening to that, you know what I mean? I can listen to Reddit. You know what I mean? Because right now I don't think I got my own joint set up. Might as well just send them to Earn and ISO. You know what I mean? Um if y'all got questions, I know um my man Earn was saying they had a bunch of questions for you. You know what I'm saying? About the point okay. uh, spread and all that type of stuff. So so if you got questions, you know what I mean, let us know. You know what I mean? Um hit us up on the Earn and ISO joint. And let us know what's an uh, expansion team question. Know what I'm saying so that way we can start answering y'all some of y'all questions. But uh, okay, you know what I mean? Because you know, I just I'm, I'm I'm trying to just um educate the people about you know what I mean the whole gambling aspect. Some of the people that want to know more about it. You know what I mean? That's why I wanted to always mm -hmm. do this do this show with you. you know what I mean? Because a lot of people didn't know that. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know that that's that that's an automatic points. You know what I'm saying the point spread. You know what I mean the underdog win. That's just automatic. Like you just won. You know what I mean point spread. You just won. You know what I mean? I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. So I'm learning. I'm learning something as I go along too. I'm learning more and more from you as I go along. So I'm pretty sure that the people are learning too. You know what I mean? But um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Um, Understood. All right. No, I mean I ain't got too much to say about that one. You know what I mean, congratulations to the Lions. You know what I mean? They coach. What's it? It's Dan Campbell, right? Dan Campbell's yeah. a coach or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, man. He be having yeah. people hyped up, man. You know what I mean, you could tell he one of them. Now I mean dudes. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I mean one of them dudes that, that they, they be saying got the high motor or something like that. I, now I, mean, I just like the way he talk. But um. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, all right. Well, I'll go on the next one. And we got Houston. They played Baltimore. Um, uh, Baltimore. They were nine and a half point favorites, and the over under was forty three and a half. And the score was Baltimore twenty five, Houston nine. So Baltimore covered that nine and a half point spread, and the uh, over under was forty three and a half, and it, it was under because the total score was 33, 25 to nine. 33 points to score, so it was under that forty three and a half point. I mean total. 
It was a lot of unders this week. If you bet unders in the point, I mean, uh, over-unders for the total um, points of the game, it was a whole bunch of unders. Like, the offense has just started off slow this week. So, I mean, that's something that we look into next week. But uh, I guess we get into that when we talk about week two. But it was a whole bunch of unders this week. Okay. All right. All right. So, I mean, I ain't see nothing about – I mean, I didn't see nothing about that game. But, um, um – but man, that I, I was gonna pick on fantasy outside of the last minute, the the Baltimore running back, his name Dobbins or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I think he out for the he might be out for the season too, right? If I, if I read that correctly, that, that that he got hurt too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that Achilles. Yeah, yeah, I decided um at the last moment not to pick him for fantasy. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't know what I mean, but I, but mm. but when I seen that, I was like, man, that's a shame. You know what I mean? So, so hopefully he get, you know what I mean, he's recovered, and I'm saying he can still play. But, you know, um, man, we, we now, now we going to the next one. I ain't got too much to say about that. Now, I mean, I mean, everybody thought that, you know, they was going to handle business, and they did. Ravens going to handle business, and they did. So, Correct. All right, next we got Cincinnati um, and Cleveland. Uh, Cincinnati was two-and-a-half-point favorites. The over-under was 47-and-a-half. And uh, Cleveland won a game 24 to 3. So they won the game straight outright. They covered the spread as underdogs. And the game went under. Low scoring game. Yeah. Was, uh, the Tom Watson he ain't really do nothing special. It's just the Cleveland defense. Jim Shorts just shut down Joe Burrow on them. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I wish Jim Shorts was doing that while he was here. No, I mean, yeah, I want a Super Bowl with the motherfucker. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm Come just on, saying. It's just, it's just, it's just times where they just looked horrible, man. Now, I mean, it's just how uh-huh. the Eagles look horrible, man. All right, I mean, I mean, you're right. I mean, do gotta get a man credit. You know, I mean, he was here when we we won the Super Bowl, but it's times where it's like, I don't know, man. Like I, I mean, I mean, I'm not a coach. You know, I mean, that man probably. I mean, not to disrespect the man like that, because the man probably forgot more about football than I know. I'm pretty sure he probably done forgot mm-hmm. more about football than I know. But you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. some of that stuff, I was just like, man, what is not? not, not I mean, what's going on? But uh, you know, but um, <laughs> you know, yeah, y'all man, don't like uh, the Eagles. Y'all don't like them because the people that don't blitz and they don't blitz a lot. It seems like uh, Philadelphia fans, they yeah, but, aggressive the coordinators. Yeah, because now I mean, we. Now, I mean, we come from that. You know what I'm saying? We come from that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to knock somebody's head mm-hmm. off, blitzing. You know what I mean? Throwing snowballs at Santa Claus, all that. Uh, <laughs> facts. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, I mean now, mm-hmm. now, we come from all that. You now, I mean, having to jail at the stadium, we get locked up. You know what I'm saying? At the stadium and all that. You know what I mean? We come from yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? You right. You now, I mean, we come from the old vet, I mean, veteran stadium. You know what I'm saying? The Astro Turf. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I mean, we, we, we used to go to games in there, and and, and the line of going to barrel so long, people was pissing in the sink. You know what I mean? You ain't even right. washing your hands for so people pissing in the sink. You know what I mean? You talking about the vet? You know what I mean? You talking about the vet? Um, you know I mean, people from Fleet know what I'm talking about. The old, the veteran stadium. You know what I mean? The Astro Turf. Mm. You know what I mean? That joint was concrete. <laughs> that joint was cold. That shit was a miserable ass. When you look, think about that. That was a miserable ass place. I mean, the people there made it. Hype, know what I'm saying? Everybody was cheering. When you think about that, man, yeah. like, yo, man, I'm glad, you know what I mean? Tore that joint down, man. I remember, what? Let you know I me mean? tore that joint well, down. Well, it, it had character, you know what I mean? The fans gave it character and yeah. grit. And yeah. then now this new stadium, I feel yeah. like the loss is kind yeah. of grit. Yeah, yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't be feeling like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the Eagles fans is always going to be Eagles fans, but it don't, it don't feel the same. It don't feel like home field advantage. It just don't feel like that. Now I mean the link just yeah. don't feel like that to me. It don't feel I mean I mean nothing gonna be the vet, but it just don't feel like that. It don't feel like a place where it's like, oh, the team gotta come in and you know it's real home field advantage, you know what I mean? They in the home of the Eagles, you know what I mean? They in their house. It just the, the link just never felt like that to me. But you know, know, know I mean, yeah. let me not get long winded about that, man, so we can keep it moving. I know it because everybody, man, all man, all, all all everybody care about is Yo, man, your brother gonna do it every week. We need, we need to know the, we need to know the gambling odds. We need the gambling odds. I'm like, all right, man, we going, <laughs> all right, man, we gonna try, we gonna try right. make it happen for y'all, man. <laughs> all right, we gonna move on there real fast. Get this week one recap over. We got Tampa Bay and Minnesota. Tampa Bay, um, no, I'm sorry, Minnesota was minus six point favorites. The over under was forty five and a half. 
And then Tampa Bay, they won 20 to 17. So the underdog won again, cover the spread, and then the under hit. Like I said, it was 20 to 17, and the total total point spread. I mean, the over under for the game was 45 and a half. So once again, another under. As I said, there's going to be a whole bunch of unders for this week one. Okay. But that's a surprise, though. A lot of people thought Minnesota was going to go out there and spank them. I did. I, like I said last week, I didn't believe in Baker Mayfield, but Minnesota came out and they laid a stinker. And Baker, Baker Mayfield and Tampa Bay defense, they just did their thing. And this is a uh, week one's upset. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, right. ba- ba- I mean, Baker Mayfield was uh was 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 was, was, was talking this shit. I mean, Baker Mayfield was, yeah. out, was out there talking this shit, man. He letting you know he still got a little gas left in the tank, man. He ain't done yet. You know? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know what I mean, move, right. move it along. So we. All right. We got uh Tennessee at New Orleans. New Orleans was minus three point favorites. The over under was forty one and a half. Uh, the score was New Orleans. They won sixteen to fifteen. So the under hit, and uh, Tennessee covered the spread. They didn't win a game, but they covered the spread. They only lost by one point. And like I said, New Orleans was minus three. They was three-point favorites. So at the end of the day, for betters, Tennessee won. You know I mean, that's how that's how the betters look at it. You know what I mean? They covered the spread. They lost the game, but they covered the spread. They Tennessee won at the end of the day. But uh, it was 16-15, New Orleans won. And both teams, it was a dog fight. Bad good defenses. The offenses was again they going, and uh, I mean I'm not surprised by. It. I said last week I thought the under was going to hit, and uh, the game played out just as I thought it was going to. do. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. We got next Carolina Atlanta. Atlanta was minus three and a half point favorites. The over under was thirty nine and a half. Atlanta they won twenty four to ten. So Atlanta covered a three and a half point spread and the under hit once again. Uh, it was a game where Bryce Young really didn't get off. He uh, kind of struggled in his first game. Uh, Jesse Bates picked him off twice and Atlanta offense just did what they had to do. You know, B. John Robinson, he had a hell of a first game, did, did good, scored a touchdown. And um, Redner, the quarterback, he just did what he had to do, just managed the game. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me say something about that before before we move on about Atlanta. Now, I mean, mm-hmm. I be thinking, I be thinking they they tight end. What's his name? Pitts? Something Pitts? Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. Yeah. I be thinking he's about to yo man. Any game is gonna be a breakout game for him. He ain't really. Yeah. You know what I mean? I be like, yo, he ain't really do too much. I'm like, yo, I'm about to have to stop 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 picking him for fantasy, man. So I be picking him, thinking <laughs> like, yo, man, the week that I don't pick him. That's when he finally gonna break out and he just gonna like, you know what I mean? <laughs> j- j- yeah, let me just go off. And it's just for some reason, man. I don't know if they not utilizing him right or whatever. He just, you know what I mean? I be thinking he gonna have good games and then it, you know what I mean, just don't. You know what I mean? That's what I'm like. Yeah. Because I, I pick him in fantasy a lot because I think that okay, this, this this might be the game. He just it. I mean, something just click on the switch, just click on or something. He just go off. You know what I mean? Just do his thing, but. It yeah. don't really be happening, man. But you know, move on. It might be the coach. I don't know, man. They might not be scheming him right, but he should be getting off. He he could play his ass off. I mean, but, and he just hasn't done it yet. But like you just said, once a week, once you don't pick him, that's gonna be the week you're gonna go off. So exactly, you just want to live with it. You just want to stop picking him, and then when he do go off, then just maybe just start picking him after that. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, we got Jacksonville at Indianapolis Colts next. Uh, Jacksonville was minus five point favorites. The over under was forty five and a half. Jacksonville won thirty one to thirty one to twenty one. So they covered a five point spread and the over hit in this one. It was thirty one to twenty one. So it was a lot of points scoring that one. Won a few games that went over. Uh, Jacksonville played a a pretty good. I mean, they played a good game. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Richardson, he did so so. Uh, just I didn't really see too much of this game, so I really can't talk too much on it. But I mean, it went, went, went how I think people expect Jacksonville to cover the spread with Indianapolis having a rookie quarterback. They figure he's gonna struggle for some parts of the game, and Jacksonville took care of business. Okay, all right, all right, yeah, man. I guess um, 
Trevor Lawrence is starting to come into his own, man. Everybody's saying, I guess when it's going to click on for him, I guess it's starting to click on for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Good for yeah, him. Facts. You know what I mean? So, good for him. Facts. All right. We got San Fran at Pittsburgh next. Uh, San Fran was minus two and a half point favorites. The over under was 41 and a half. The final score was San Fran 30, Pittsburgh 7. So, San Fran easily covered that two and a half point spread. And the game went under under the 41 and a half point total. Uh, San Fran just basically dominated that whole fucking game. They just went out there and whooped Pittsburgh ass. They more physical. And I was totally surprised by that. You know, I thought Tom and my his team to show up from week one, but they just smacked the shit out of Pittsburgh. And, um, I mean, go for them. I mean, they're going to be a threat this year. As long as their quarterback stay healthy, they're going to be a threat. Yeah. Um, I got a question about that. All right. Did, um, because I didn't watch, I didn't watch that game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I watched the, uh, I watched the, uh, the Bengals and, uh, the Browns joint. But, um, mm-hmm. Debo Samuel, did he even get the ball thrown to him? How many times did he get the ball thrown to him? I picked him on fantasy. Uh, but it just seemed uh, like. I'm, I'm looking up his stats right now. Yeah, I'm like, uh, it don't seem like he. They even like really, really like included him in the offense or something like that. Because what I was saying, but I didn't watch the game, but I just went by what I looked seeing on fantasy. I'm like, because I picked him, it was like, um, the one that I didn't pick, the other wide receiver that I be picking sometimes. He the one that got the ball. Didn't he score like the other wide receiver? What's his name? I can't yeah, even pronounce his name. Yeah, Brandon Brandon Ayu. Yeah. He, he fucking killed him. Eight catches for one twenty nine. Uh, Samuel had five catches for fifty five yards. Yeah. No sure. touchdowns. See what I'm saying? That just seemed odd to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, yeah. They got weapons though. You know, you know, it's gonna be tough. You know, some weeks he might go off. Next week he might go off, and then the following week he might not go off. They got so many weapons at each level that it's gonna be tough to pick. Who's gonna get to go off? Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, man. They kind of got, yeah, man. They got them, man. Man, they got them up out of here, man, with that joint. I was like, I was like, okay. But at the same time, the joint I was watching, I was like, I was thinking because, because I, I, because I like to pick Jamar Chase, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I always pick him, like, because to me, in fantasy, to me, he always, he, he worth the money because he always gonna score, you know what I mean? He always scored. This is joint, he didn't uh-huh. score. I'm like, this is probably the first time mm-hmm. I ever picked him and he didn't score a touchdown. That's probably the first time in oh, fantasy shit. since he's been in the league that I picked him. He didn't score a touchdown. That's why I, that to, mm. to, to, I mean, to me, he worth the money. So I'm like, he always scored a right. touchdown when I pick him, but he just didn't. So I was like, right. like, all right, man. Well, you know, we can move on. Well, he went into that we talking shit. He was talking shit about Cleveland, so I'm quite sure they wanted to shut his ass down. But he usually owned Cleveland, like like you said, every week you you I mean usually score. But when he played Cleveland, he seems to go off. But he was talking that shit, and he put that bullseye on him, mm. and uh, he shut his ass down somewhat. All right, uh, we got Arizona at Washington next. Ariz- I mean, Washington was uh, seven, several point favorites in this one. Total points um, over under was 38. So the final score of the game was 20 to 16, Washington won. Arizona covered the spread, and the game went under the point um, total points um, point spread. So uh, I didn't get to see this game, but I'm quite sure it was an ugly game because, you know, Washington looked like they couldn't do shit all game. They just took over when it counted at the end. And Arizona, you know, credit to them, they hanged in there all game and made it interesting. Hmm. But at the end of the day, they just don't have enough talent, I think. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, uh, Washington's in the division, so – now I mean, I'm glad to see them. Now I mean, not really do too much. Now I mean, that's one less person we got to tell. Now we got to worry about. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They ain't really looking too uh, good. Now I mean, they they look discombobulated. You know what I'm saying? So, now I mean, that's good. Yeah, but you know, yeah. but you know, let me say, a lot of teams look like that because a lot of teams look rusty. Now I mean, it, now, I mean, a lot of these teams look like. Exactly what happened. I mean, a lot of them players didn't play during the preseason. You know what I'm saying? And it's yeah. and it show because everybody looked rusty. Everybody, you know what I mean, don't look in sync. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I mean? Everybody looked rusty. Yeah. A lot of teams look rusty. Look like what, you know what I mean, what happened? Like everybody just set out. A lot of people, players, they set out the whole preseason. 
You know what I mean? You know how they be looking on preseason. They don't even be dressed to play. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They they be having the sweatsuits yeah, on, sweatsuits on on the side sidelines, laughing and joking and all that. Then get out here week yeah. one and get and get your boost smoke. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all was out there yeah. walking around on the sideline laughing and joking the whole preseason. Damn, you ain't even throw throw the pads on and get in one game, you know what I'm saying? Do a series or something. You know what I mean? Some I some, some players didn't. And you could tell this show. You know what I mean? Show because a lot exactly. of te- a lot of teams look rusty. They look like they they it looked like what it is. Most of them players ain't played together because some of them played during the preseason, some of them didn't. So now you're just thinking you about to switch it on week one, and, and that's exactly what it leads. Teams, some a lot of teams look on, on Sunday look like discombobulated. It looked like exactly what it was. Some people was playing during the preseason, some people wasn't. That's exactly what it looked like to me. So facts. Yeah, I just wanted yeah, to say that. The NFL. Yeah. That's yeah. how it's gonna be for net for a while now. You know what I mean? They're not gonna be playing any players anymore. So you're right about that though. All right, uh next we got Las Vegas at Denver. Las um Denver was minus four and a half point favorites. Over under was forty four. All right. The score was seventeen and sixteen. Las Vegas won. So Las Vegas covered spread. They won a game outright, and the um, game went under the points. The point spread, um, not point spread. I keep saying that. But over the total points, you know, over under it went under. Uh, basically, Jimmy G, he's a winner. <laughs> he just seems to win. So he did his thing. It's a division game. You know, that's gonna be tough. Russell Wilson. He didn't really look that sharp. I mean, he don't take no deep shots. He seemed like he was just taking all underneath shit and meet the middle of the all bill shit. Like, I don't know. He ain't really looked that good to me. But uh, Las Vegas won the game at the end. Uh, both defenses did a good job to me. And, um, hey, I mean, Denver, they ain't going to be shit this year. So hey. that's all I got to hey, say about that. Hey, yo, shout out. Yo, I don't know if you watched the uh the, the, the sports you're doing with Cam and Mace, you know what I mean? I don't know if you watched that show or not. Yeah, some some yeah, some yeah. songs, yeah. Yeah, yo, yo, Antonio Brown, man, had me dying laughing. We talking we talking about Denver like, yo, they do they do the orange size kick. Know what I mean? The start. <laughs> he was like, What uh-huh. are you doing? That's some video game shit. But that's the truth <laughs> though. Yo, that's yeah. the truth though. Like, yo, what is y'all doing with that? Like I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. It's, it's only good if it works, and that shit ain't exactly. working. I mean, they got a penalty on it. It's only good if it works. I mean, I, I, I ain't going to be getting too mad about that. I mean, it, hey, fuck it. Like, but if, if, if it don't work, then you look like an ass or look like a fool. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I ain't too mad at that. I mean, shit. I like people that like take risks. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm not too mad at that. But I get it though, man. They just fishing though. They they know their team ain't shit, so they just fishing, trying to. So uh, next next game from last week, we had Miami at uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. I gotta always watch myself. I always want to say San Diego Chargers. The Chargers was minus three point favorites. The over under was fifty one. Uh, Miami won the game thirty six thirty four in the highest scoring game of the weekend. So Miami covered the spread. They won a the game outright. They went over the total point spread. And uh, just a high-scoring, exciting game, man. Tyreek said he wanted to get 2,000 yards receiving this year. It looked like that shit about to happen. I mean, nobody could fuck with the cheetah. I don't know why they's playing man. They's playing man most of the time. He was just doing anything he want. Mm. And fucking Tua, he was, he, he, as long as he healthy, he going to be putting out there, putting on the ball, running the money all the time. He healthy. That office is going to be uh, damn near unstoppable. And then imagine they get Jonathan Tuller, Tuller but I don't want to go down no rabbit hole. But if they actually get a running game, too, mm-hmm. I mean, they can win the damn Super Bowl. But it was a high scoring game, a signing game, just like I thought. I thought the over was going to hit. And I'm quite sure a lot of people thought the over was going to hit with these two teams. But it's a good game. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, that's the thing. I'll be one. I- I be wanting to pick Tua in fantasy, but I be like afraid. Like somebody hit him, he just you know what I mean. He 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 out. <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. That be scaring me. But I be like, yo, man, they be scoring some points, man. They be scoring some With points. Ease. Yeah, man, they be scoring some points, man. So you know, I mean, 
I mean, I'll end up picking them, you know what I'm saying, one of these. <laughs> now I mean, hopefully the script yeah. don't – hopefully the NFL script don't go against me the week – I mean, the week I pick them. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? You know what I mean? Because things, <laughs> things all mess up this week. Jamar Chase, don't score no touchdown. And, you know what I mean? Aaron Rodgers, you know what I'm saying? He get hurt. Yo, man, the script, man, that's, that man, that joint really – listen, man, I don't know who writing this joint, man. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, they not they not sticking to your script. That's all that it is. I mean, they, they I guess uh, that's the way they stay in business. If, if they know a lot of better is going to do one thing, then uh, the script is to switch that shit up so they can make money. You know, they are hand in hand with this betting shit now. They got all these betting betting sponsors and all that shit. So if you do believe in that script shit, then they gonna go the opposite of what people think so they can make money. Mm-hmm. That's all that is. All right, y'all. Next we got your Philadelphia Eagles at New England Patriots. Eagles is minus three and a half point favorites. The over under was forty four and a half. Uh, Eagles won twenty five to twenty, so they covered the spread and the game went over. Um, it's just I mean, you, you can speak more on a bit more on this game, but uh, I mean, the Eagles won the game, was sloppy, but they won, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. And uh, Patriots had a chance to win at the end, the, the dude just gonna keep his damn feet in bounds, but mm-hmm. the Eagles won, they did what they had to do. Yeah, man, the game went how I thought it was gonna go, man. I didn't think it was gonna be no, they was just gonna run them off the field, you know what I'm saying. Because it's still mm-hmm. still Bill Belichick, you know what I'm saying? So the game the game went how I thought it was gonna go. You know what I mean? And but we still ended up winning. We won a close game the same, you know what I mean, the way I thought it was gonna go. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I mean I didn't think it was just gonna be, yo, we just gonna roll right over them like how people wanted to keep saying it. No, we wasn't gonna roll right over them, but we now we did get the win. So, you know what I mean? I ain't I ain't as good as Vegas and all of them with the predictions, but the game went how I thought it was gonna go. I thought it was gonna be closer than what people think. People just thought we were just going to run over them and just going to be done with them. Nah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Nah. But, you know, we got the win, so I, so I appreciate that. And you see how close that damn uh, the over-under. The over-under was 44 and a half, and the total point score was 45. So, mm. that shit went over just by half a point, man. That's just how betting goes. You know what I mean, hopefully he was on the right side if you pick over-under. You know what I mean? Hopefully you pick over and you won that shit by half a point. Mm. If you lose by half a point, that's a horrible feeling, all right? Believe me. Mm. All right. We're going to move on. We got Chicago hosting the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Chicago was minus one and a half point favorites. The over-under was 43 and a half. Green Bay went in there and beat them 38 to 20. So they uh, covered the spread, and they uh, won the game outright, and they went well over the total. Um just Jordan Love, he did what he had to do. I think it's more of the Green Bay defense. They uh just shut down Justin Fields and uh his new weapons. Like DJ Moore only had like two catches. Uh just a great overall game by the Green Bay defense in my opinion. And Jordan Love did what he had to do. I think Dallas had like two touchdowns. It was just a good game, man. Green Bay went there and whooped the ass. Mm. And they showed that Aaron Rodgers is not the only one that owns Chicago, like Green Bay owns Chicago as the fucking team. Hmm. Okay, man. All right, man. Yeah. All right, we keep going. All right. Mm-hmm. We got L.A. Rams. They uh, went to Seattle. Seattle was minus five and a half point favorites. Over under was 45 and a half. The uh, score was 30 to 13. The Rams won. So Seattle did not cover the spread. They lost, obviously. So the Rams covered the spread. They won the game outright. And the uh, game went under the uh, total points. Uh, Rams is kind of a shocking thing to me because I thought Seattle was going to win that. Rams really have no weapons, and Matt Stafford is just throwing dimes to different people. Tutu Atwell, Atwell, I believe that's his name, went off on them. Uh, the Rams went in there and shocked them in Seattle. You know how hard it is to win in Seattle. So a surprising game, and um, Seattle's, they got to dig themselves out this, out this hole now. <clears throat> Okay. Was, was that all the games? All right. No, we got two more left. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I all mean, right. how, you, how can you, we got Dallas at New York Giants? Oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Y'all Dallas had, y'all three and a half Vegas. point favorites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the over-under was 46, so Dallas won 40 to nothing. They covered the spread. It went under the, to- the, the to- total of the game. 
And uh, we, like you said, we handle business. We just went in there for the sake of the gate and just whooped the ass, basically. And um, mm-hmm. it's good to see the defense have me create them turnovers. And Giants, they got some work to do, but I think they still going to be an all right team. But we, we went in there and just put it on the showcase. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Jerry Jones still trying to get rid of Dak, though. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's safe for one week. You know what I mean? He's safe for one week. All right, next we got Buffalo and New York Jets, the Monday nighter. Buffalo was minus two and a half point favorites. The over under was 46 and a half. Uh, Jets won a game 22 to 16, so they, they uh, won the game outright and they went under the points, the total points. Uh, I mean, I, we already talked about it, you know, Aaron Rodgers went down and Jets. They won the game because Josh Allen just kept turning the ball over. And to me, it's just that simple. Um, Josh Allen had four turnovers, and um, they were supposed to win that game, Buffalo. That was an easy game for them to win, and they, they fucked that up. So Josh Allen, he got egg on his face, and uh, he got to look himself in America. He's doing the same shit he did last year. Okay. All right. All right. So, so that's I it, saw right? the game. Okay. Yeah. So now we got week two, big week, you know, to see our teams make adjustments. And uh, I don't know, I guess when we, you want me to start or something, you want to go, go over? Um, Nah, man, nah, I mean, we might as well nah, I mean, just go on and get to it. Nah, I mean, I know this is what the people want to hear, you know what I mean? People want to hear, you know, you know the gambling odds and know the over and uh, under and all the stuff that you talk about, man. So, you know, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm ready when you're ready. All right, the first game of the week is that Thursday night. Is your Philadelphia Eagles hosting the Minnesota Vikings? Uh, the Eagles are minus seven point favorites. The over under is forty eight and a half. Um, Thursday night, prime time. Kirk Cousins, you know the rap on him is he don't show up for prime time games. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go with that. What is that called? That trend? Because uh, I don't believe in Kirk Cousins like that. So I think the Eagles should. Handle their business on a short week. I kind of like the over. I think Minnesota will get some points because I think Bradbury, Bradbury, ain't gonna be out for y'all. I think he got hurt or some some shit like that. I don't know. I keep up with it. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, keep up with it, man. Um, yeah, I think Bradbury is gonna be out. So I think um, I think Minnesota will get at least twenty points, and uh, then I think the Eagles gonna score at least thirty. So. I think the Eagles will cover the spread, and I think the game will go over. Mm. Okay, yeah, man. I hate Thursday night games. Can't stand them. Yeah. Can't yeah, stand them, man. Throwing me off, you know what I mean? Throwing my whole week off. You know what I mean? I look forward to yeah. watching my team on Sunday, and we playing on Thursday. You know what I mean? That throws me off, man. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Who, 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 who even thought of a Thursday night game? Who even thought of that? Thursday night. Just the game. motherfuckers that want more money. You know what I mean, the motherfuckers in the front office and on uh, the but the suits, the people with the business suits on. Yeah, you know what, what about saying? the fucking money? You know what I mean, Thir- Thursday night football. Who thought of that, man? All right, man. We can, I mean, <laughs> we can, we, now we can move on, man. Yeah, I ain't. It is what it is, man. All Thursday right. night game, Thursday night game. All right, ain't nothing I can do about it. All right. All right, we got the L.A. Chargers next. They go into Tennessee. LA is minor three point favorites. So over under is forty five. Uh, I think Tennessee. They don't got no offense, man. The Chargers, they they offense, I think, will just put up too many points for Tennessee. But I don't know. I do respect Tennessee culture. I, I respect the whole culture. So it's a tough game for me to call, man. I, I really got no opinion on it as far as picking a side. Because I wouldn't be surprised if Tennessee win this game outright. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if Chargers, you know, score too many points for Tennessee to keep up. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. We'll see who wins. You know what I mean? The Chargers, um, um, they quarterbacks will be one of the top quarterbacks, right? Yeah, Herbert. He's yeah. a bad boy. Yeah, but. um, and, and He has weapons, too. A lot of weapons. Uh the receivers, the running back Eckler, he has some weapons. So, I mean, I don't know. I expect, I expect them to put up points on them, man. Unless they can't block the, the Tennessee defensive line, 
they gonna put up points in them. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. We can move now. now we can move it along, man. Yeah, so all right, uh, next we got we got all right. We got Green Bay and Atlanta next. Uh Green Bay is minus one and a half point favorites. The over under is forty and a half. Uh, it's gonna be a, a tough game to call. I think I'm gonna rock out with uh, Green Bay because I, I just like their overall team, the defense, and all that. But I wouldn't be surprised if Atlanta win as well, be able to run the ball. I think Atlanta just want to kind of run the ball a lot this year. Yeah, but they do got uh, Kyle Pitts, they got Drake London, they got weapons as well. So I don't know, man. I won't be surprised if Atlanta win as win a game if they were to control the clock and all that jazz. You know what I mean? But uh, the tough game to call, man. They both want to know down there in the dirty, dirty and at uh, Mercedes Benz Dome. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be a tough game for me to call. I can't pick it right now. All right, yeah, man. I ain't. I ain't got no dog in the fight, so it don't make no difference to me in either way. You know what I mean? So whoever win, win. So I ain't, I ain't got too much to say about All that. Right. Man. All right. Next, we got Indiana at Houston. Right now, Indiana is a one-point favorite. The over-under is 40. Um, two rookie quarterbacks going at each other. Richardson for the Colts. CJ Stroud for Houston. Um. That's a, that's a tough game right now. I think I'm gonna go with Houston. I'm gonna go with D'Amico Ryan's win his first game mm-hmm. at home. Right now, I think I'm just. I think both teams is even. I'm just gonna go with the coaches. You know, Indianapolis got that new coach Steichen from y'all from the Eagles. Coach was there last year. And Houston, I fucks with uh, Ryan's. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the coaching. So I'm gonna go with Houston to win a game at home. Okay, yeah, yeah, know what I mean? I mean, um, yeah, man, shout out to uh, D'Amico Ryan, know what I mean? He put some time in on the Eagles, too, know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he might have been, like, towards the end of his career or whatever, but, know what I mean? He put mm-hmm. some work in for the Eagles, man, so hopefully he can get his win, man. want to see him do well. So, you know, you know other Fair. than that, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got too much to say about, know what I'm saying? No, 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 no AFC team, know what I mean? I ain't okay. AFC, so. All right. Next, we got Seattle at Detroit. Uh, Detroit is minus five and a half point favorites. The over under is forty seven. Uh, I'm gonna pick Seattle to cover the, the five point five point spread uh, since they lost the first week. Mm-hmm. Detroit been off all this time, so I think they'll. I think Detroit will win, mm-hmm. but I'll pick Seattle to cover that five point spread mm-hmm. just because you know they lost last week and they're trying to get back on the right track. All right, all right. So hold on. Oh, okay. So, 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 so you saying Detroit's going to win, but Seattle's going to cover the spread? Yes, uh, Detroit is five and a half point favorites, so to Detroit got to win by at least six. Okay, but I think Seattle they'll 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 lose by like less than six. You know what I mean? So it might be a field goal game, something like that. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, yeah, man. But I think I think that Detroit gonna win though. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next we got Chicago at Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay is minus three point favorites. The over under is forty one and a half. Uh, my pick is Chicago to cover this uh, three point spread. I'm picking them to win. They're gonna win the game out, right? I think since they lost last week. I'm going with a lot of teams. I guess that lost. The first week, you won't bounce back. But, yeah, I'm picking Chicago to win a game outright. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, man, I like uh, Chicago's quarterback, man. But um, hopefully they can keep him around. You know what I mean? Keep him healthy while they're trying to build the team around him. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to build a team mm-hmm. around him and he mess around. You know what I mean? He got, you know, he got to run around and run for his life and all that. I mean, they ain't going to be too good by the time you try to build around him. You know what I mean? Then he all worn down. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hope, hopefully they can get that together, man. So, you know. Now we can move on. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, next I got Las Vegas at Buffalo. Buffalo is minus nine and a half point favorites. The over-under is 47. Um, I'm going to ride out with Buffalo. 
Uh, Las Vegas on the road last week at Denver, so they gotta go back on the road again this week. Yeah. And Buffalo just lost, so I'm, I'm gonna rock out with Buffalo to to spank the Raiders. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, because they bound to win one. No, I mean they bound to win one. Yeah. I mean because they still Buffalo. So um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm expecting yeah. them to win. No, I'm not, yeah, 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 I'm expecting them to win. Hold on, yeah. Let me say this before now me going because. Um, because Tom Brady is like part owner of like the Raiders, right? Yeah, he's a minority owner. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because all right, all right, all right. That made sense because I guess he was talking to uh, they they had like the the, the scene when he was talking. I guess he's talking to the, the Jimmy G or whatever. He was like mm-hmm. he's like going out there and ruining their night or something. I was like, why is Tom Brady there? Then I then it dawned on me that he's like part owner of the Raiders. Okay. I mean, I wonder, uh, I wonder why Robert Kraft they, they ain't making part owner of the Patriots. You could have probably gained. No, I mean, we'll give you a point zero 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 one percentage or something like that. You time Brady, Brady. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do that because you know, um, Tom Brady never was getting them high price contracts. He always was taking less money. So I thought they had like a little handshake agreement where he's going to be like a part time owner or some shit when they retire. So. I'm yeah. surprised by that too. Yeah. All that money Tom Brady lost over the years. Yeah. Or or who knows, man, he might be the I don't know, he might be the type of guy like, man, I really don't want that handout. You know what I'm saying? He might feel like that's a handout. Man, I want to yeah. go somewhere else and try to, you know what I'm saying? And and own another team and I mean and build that up. I mean be a part of the build building that building that franchise up. Never know. I mean, you never know, I mean Know what I mean? How that played mm-hmm. out behind closed doors and what happened and what was said. Know what I mean? You never know. He might have been offered that and he might have said, nah, you know, I'm cool. I don't need to be up under. You know what I mean? I don't need to be up under them. Know what I'm saying? I played, you know what I mean? I want to try to build another franchise up. Know what I mean? So, you know, I don't know. I was just thinking yeah. about that. Know what I mean? For some reason, I was just thinking about that. But, you know, we, know, we can move on. All right. We got Kansas City at Jacksonville next. Kansas City is minor three point favorites. Over under is 51 and a half. Uh, Coach Reed against his old uh, coaching buddy, Doug Peterson. You know, two people that know each other. Uh, I, I, I don't know how this game going to go because I don't know Travis Kelsey going to play. Mm. We know Chris Jones just got signed, so he's going to be back in there for Kansas City defense. Uh, I can't call this game right now because I don't know the availability of Travis Kelsey. Hmm. Hmm. Um, shoot, they might lose two in a row, man. Know what I mean? Yeah. Know what I mean? They might have a little shootout on their hands, man. Know what I mean? Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Know what I mean? They might have a little shootout, and it's, and it's, and it's a possibility that they could lose. Know what I mean? Oh, There's yeah. a possibility that they could lose. Know what I'm saying? They might have a little shootout on their hands, man, and it might be a possibility that they can lose two in a row. Know what yeah. I mean? So, because, man, listen, man, Tripp. Trevor Lawrence is is, is 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 starting to come into his own. Know what I mean, he's starting to he's starting to catch up with all that, with all that potential. Everybody's saying, know what I mean, the ability he have. Know what I'm saying, he's starting to. Know what I'm saying, it's starting to click for him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's starting to click for him. I think uh, Calvin really played down there now, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, ga- the gambler himself. Yeah, he should have had his ass on his show. Know what I'm saying, <laughs> know what I mean, you never know. Know what I'm saying, know what I mean, he might, know, know what I mean, he might be going. Ask him what the odds are. No, I'm playing. I mean, right. Yeah. Yo. You like, yo. Like, yo, I'm going to have, yo, whoever betting on me, yo, I'm going for 150 yards receiving. I mean, no, I'm I'm playing. I'm playing, man. But yeah, man, he got him. No, I mean, yeah, man, I always liked him when he was on the land. And I'm saying, I always liked him, man. I'm glad to see, no, I mean, he getting a chance not to come back and then he would. He paired up with a with a with a with a quarterback that that can get in the ball. Now I mean not to say Matt Ryan was something wrong with Matt Ryan, but you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it's good to see him, now I mean, not be somewhere it's like oh I am back and I'm I'm back, but I'm in purgatory because I'm somewhere that, you know, the quarterback is so so. Now I'm glad that he's somewhere that yeah, that the quarterback can give him the ball and then and then he is a priority there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man, good for him, man. Yeah. Now I mean good for Doug Peterson, man, that um that uh, he got something to work with, you know what I mean, with that team. Because, um, man, listen, man, he bought us the chip, man. 
Know what I mean? <laughs> now I mean, he brought us a championship, mm-hmm. man. He brought us a Super Bowl, man. So, you know, he man, he ain't gonna never have to pay for a beer or a steak dinner, you know what I mean? Ever when he come to Philly. Now I mean, people gonna love him for life no matter where he go. Man, if he coach another team, you know what I'm saying? All that just like people love Andy Reid. And Andy Reid didn't even mm-hmm. win a Super Bowl here, but people love him some from, from the work that he put in. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now I mean, now I mean Doug Peterson won it for us, so you know, I'm glad to see that he ain't somewhere in purgatory like I'm trying to coach, but I ain't really got nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I really ain't got too much to work with. You know what I mean? I'm glad to see that. You know what I'm saying? When when he left the Eagles, you know what I mean? He landed somewhere with the potential to, you know what I mean, so he can really get busy down there. So so good for him. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Um, next, we got Baltimore at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's three and a half point favorites over under 46 and a half. Uh, Cincinnati, you would think, will want to bounce back and just get on the right track. Uh, it's a division game, so I'm going to rock out with Baltimore to cover the spread. Cincinnati probably will win, but I think it will be like a field goal game. So I'm going to rock out with Baltimore. It's going to be a close game. You know, it's a division. NFC North, baby. Okay. I mean, AFC North. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, Hopefully, you know what I mean? Jamar... I mean, I mean Lamar. I'm saying Jamar. I'm still thinking about Jamar Chase. Lamar, oh, shit. still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I mean, doing his thing, man. It's good to see him. You know what I'm saying succeed and hopefully be successful, man. I still want. Now I mean, my boys hurts. Now I mean, I want hurts to win the MVP. You know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of people uh-huh. saying it's gonna be one of them. You know what I mean? They, they say they saying that they gonna be each other's competition. You know what I'm saying main main competition. But you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I think it's gonna be one of them too. But they probably like feel like okay, we can't keep give, we can't give it to the the Patrick Mahomes. You know what I mean? Even though he mm-hmm. probably gonna be good, but then see that's crazy to me. But that's kind of like because Patrick Mahomes is basically becoming like how LeBron was in the NBA, where it's like all right, he's the most power, power, valuable player like every year, but you gotta give it to other people besides him. So that's kind of like to mm-hmm. me like that's how he's becoming, like. Kind of like how LeBron was, or other people was winning it, but you knew it was always LeBron. But for like for sake yeah, of business, like we can't we, we can't always give it to LeBron though, even though he's LeBron. I guess that's how like Patrick Mahomes is becoming. Like, okay, right. you're good, but you you're you, so you're supposed to be good. So let's give it to somebody else. Like, you know what I mean? I got, uh, unless I, unless he like have a year where he like break a lot of fucking records, you know, break yeah. the pass and touchdown record, do something like crazy. That's the only time you're gonna win an MVP. But yeah. from now on, that motherfucker gonna get tired of giving it to him. You know what I mean, so I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but that's how I started to feel like okay, that feel like they 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 started to treat Patrick Mahomes like like how they treat LeBron. Like, all right, you good, yeah. but but you're you. Like, okay. No, I mean, great Great is just normal for you. You know what I'm saying? We got to give it to other people for the sake of the league and the business and all that. We got to give it to other people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That, 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 I'm just starting to get that feeling that that's why because yeah. they barely be saying his name, though. I'll be like, you know he's like the number one player in the league. But they be talking about other people as like, far as the race for MVP. So it was like a whole – but if I was him, I'd be like, I get it, but I don't get it. Like, yo, I'm still like the nicest. You know what I mean? Y'all don't even be saying my yeah. name sometimes. Like – Y'all be saying Jalen Hurts yeah. is. I mean, y'all be saying it's Jalen Hurts versus Lamar Jackson. Like, you do know I'm mm. I'm Patrick Mahomes, right? Like, you do know mm. I just won, right? Like, you know what I mean? But I, mm. but I, I mean, but I understand it. You know what I mean? But I, that, that 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 was just on my mind. So I was like, yo, they starting to treat him like how they treat LeBron in the NBA. Like they just giving it to other people, even though like, okay, well you know it's LeBron, but you just giving it to other mm-hmm. people. I just for the, I guess for the sake of business or against. Whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know what I mean? So, you know. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. You know what I mean? That, that was that was just on my mind. So I'm like, yo, you everybody just keeps saying it comes between it comes down to Jalen Hurts and Lamar Jackson. I'm like, Pat, you know, Patrick Mahomes is like top dog, right? Like you know I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I get it. I mean, I I I I guess I would get tired just seeing the same person winning every year, even if he is the best player in the league. So I I, I kind of understand, but he just wanted his thing. Just going to just keep winning Super Bowls. Fuck it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, MVP, yeah, yeah. You know, the MVP. Yeah, if I was him, I probably I, I might be thinking that too. Like, listen, man, give me the chips, man. Know what I'm saying? But I, 
Know yeah. what I mean? I can't wear them MVP. You know what I'm saying? Jones on my fingers, man. I need the rings. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I need the rings. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. All right. We got the New York Giants at the Arizona uh, Cardinals. Giants is minus six point favorites. The over under is 39 and a half. Uh, I'm just going to rock out with the Giants. Uh, yeah. I just, just every week you just got to bet against Arizona. Mm. For real, for real. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I might not be. I guess there might be some division games because you know how that go. But Arizona, they just got no quarterback. They just, mm. just going to be shitty. So I'm, I'm going to rock out with the Giants. That's like one of my favorite plays this week to, to rock out with the Giants. They just got the ass bust by Dallas last week. So, you know, they're going to want to get get back on the right foot and right. bust Arizona ass. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, that game just sound like a dumpster fire to me, but um Oh it is. No, I mean <laughs> I would love I would love for Arizona to 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 if they go on to win a game, it would be that one. Cause, Cause we need to take the Giants as in the Eagles division. So I would love if, I, I would love for the Giants to lose, but no, I mean uh, I don't I don't see I see I see the Giants probably winning that one, but I would love for that be the one game that they just everything just click for Arizona and just the Yo, you'll never see a game like that in a million years. Once in a lifetime game they played. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know what you mean? never know, man. You don't know what the script got. I mean, what the script got in, in it. So you never know, man. So where, where Johnny Manziel at? Johnny Johnny football ain't putting. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't <laughs> activate him or something, man. You know what I mean, can't activate nah, him, man. You better call, man. They better call Cam Newton up. Nah, I mean Cam oh, like he's shit. still in shape. You better call. You better call Cam up. You know what oh, man? man, you better call. You better call Cam up. Nah, I mean Cam. Nah, I mean Cam <laughs> like he's still in shape. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean like he's like yeah. man, he's like he still got some gas in the tank, man. Y'all better call Cam up, man. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, Shoot. Call, call him up. <laughs> Man, call him up. Yo, wild boy. Yo, wild boy. Man, they don't need that. They trying to lose game, man. They trying to get their number one pick. That's what they trying to do. Shoot, who? They okay. Trying to get that number one pick. So number one pick would be what? Uh, Caleb Williams, the boy from USC, right? If he come out, now nah, I mean, of course yeah. he's gonna be the first. Okay. Yeah. Well, he talking that shit, saying he might not come out. That's what his dad said. Yeah, because I don't think they want to go to the Cardinals. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he want to go to the Cardinals. You know what I'm saying? He's like, man, my son not about to be in that that organization. Not, not, I mean, that Jones down. I mean, that Jones like. But like, I, th- I think down. there's another quarterback uh, behind him that's pretty good. I can't. I really, not, I didn't really look at it, but I think it's supposed to be some good quarterbacks coming out though. Yeah, yeah, I think. So. They, yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to be a few good quarterbacks coming out. They saying it's going to be decent. Know what I mean, but I think the bull from USC is top of the list. I think they. I think yeah. they said the boy from Oregon is he supposed to be pretty decent too. I think they said. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's both Knicks and I ain't. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I don't like them. I might I be thinking like about him, somebody but... else. I might be thinking about somebody else. They saying is, they saying is good. North Carolina. I yeah, 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 there, yeah, but... yeah, 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 but, yeah. I yeah. mean, but Arizona. If, if, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm throwing off on them. But if, if, if Carolina Williams don't. Uh, you know, come out to to the draft. They just got to do what Chicago did last year and trade that number one pick. They still got Murray. Like, Murray ain't trash. So, they can trade that number one pick and get some assets and all that shit and, you know what I mean, build a team up around, build around Murray. Like, they ain't got to get a quarterback. Mm. So, if Kelly don't come out, then that ain't the worst thing in, in the world. But okay. they are playing for a number one pick, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, next, we got San Fran at LA Rams. Uh, San Fran is minus eight point favorites over under forty four. Uh, you know, I think the Rams going to win last week, so I guess I was going to ride out with the San Fran again, mm. the minus eight to cover that spread. But it's a division game, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Rams do cover that. But I don't see the Rams winning the game, mm. but they might cover the spread. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, um that might be an exciting game, you know what I'm saying? Fun game to watch. Um yeah, man. Um San Fran doing their thing, man, but the Rams, I don't know, the Rams, I don't know, the, the Rams, they be throwing the ball all over the place, man. I don't know I don't know what's 
what's going on over there? It's like, uh, it's like, okay. They starting to be like in purgatory to me. Like, oh, okay, you know oh I mean? yeah. Just saying, like they just, they just, mm-hmm. they just float. They not, they not great, but they not terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just seemed like, I don't know, man. I can't describe it, but you know, man. Whoever wins, wins. Don't make yeah. a difference. Don't make a difference to me. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, next, we got the game of the week. We got the New York Jets at the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Dallas is minus <laughs> minus nine and a half point favorite. The script. Oh, uh, the they, and a half. That's the they had that is the game of the week, and Aaron Rodgers is not even playing. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? In the NFL, it's scripted, man. They had that as the game mm-hmm. of the week. They had all this stuff lined up the whole season for him to play. They probably sitting there mm-hmm. because how many times they probably gonna be on on Sunday night football? They just probably gonna be on Sunday night football now. I think a lot. See what I'm yeah, saying? A lot. Yeah, man. Flex, flex. Now, I mean, the games has been yeah. flex. We bringing that back out. Flex this game. Mm-hmm. Flex that game. There ain't nobody trying to see the damn Jets now. Damn, goddamn nope. game. Of, goddamn game of the week. Know what I'm saying the game of the week because they thought Aaron Rodgers was gonna be. Now, I mean, he's going. Man, because remember back when um when Jordan played for the Wizards, they put like every Washington Wizards game on on TV, like every one of them came on when he played for the Wizards. You know what I'm saying? That's how they tried to do Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? Game of the week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, game of the week. Yo, he ain't playing. Hey, hey, listen, man. They probably said about that. Like, yo, now what we gonna do? Yeah, man. But um, mm-hmm. um, did you just do the odds for it? Yeah, Dallas is minus nine and a half point favorites. The over under is thirty nine and a half. Uh, I I don't know if Dallas will cover the spread. That's a lot of points. Yeah, yeah, that this is. This type of shit, you know what I mean? We yeah. like to fuck around. They, they defense is is, is great. Yeah, Jets. yeah, um, yeah. Defense ain't no joke. Yeah, so I would go with the under under that thirty nine and a half point total spread. I think it'll be a a low scoring game, like maybe like twenty to seventeen type of shit, twenty to sixteen. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah, man. They kind of like, it's kind of like, they kind of being going to be in like the whole, back when like, that reminds us, that rem, the Jets now remind me, without Aaron Rodgers, remind me like how like um they was back when uh, Rex Ryan was the coach. Remember when they, they defense was like, yeah. was like, was like out of this world, like all, you know what I'm saying? Like like some yeah, all world defense. And they, 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 they like, they just like struggle on offense. Well, they defense was mm-hmm. like out of this world. That's how they. That's how they look now. Know what I mean? Yeah. Know what I mean? Defense is crazy, and they're they gonna be struggling to score points. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? They're gonna mm-hmm. be, they be struggling to score points, man. Know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I think um, I think they just ain't they just ain't got no offense, man. Know what I mean? If Dallas Dallas probably ain't going to score. Score too much, you know what I'm saying? As long as you, man, you score about three or four touchdowns, you, you know what I mean? You good. Because how they going to score? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How they going to score unless, unless uh, what's his name? Zach Wilson or whatever? What's his name? Is that Zach Wilson, right? Yeah. Yeah, unless yeah. he just have a, like, it just it just click for him out of nowhere and just don't nobody expect it to, but it just click. You just have an amazing game. I don't see how they going to win the game because they offense. Now, I mean, they, now, I mean, they defense might be to keep a minute. Know what I'm saying, but but if, if you score at least three, man, you man, you get a couple field goal, you get three touchdowns in the field goal, you'll win this joint. Cause how they scoring? Right. Now, I mean, unless they go out hey. there and just say, "Listen, man, man, let it fly. Just let it mm-hmm. fly, man." Now, I mean, whatever happens, happens. That's our best chance. Let it fly, man. Cause what what what, what else is the game plan at this point? You know they saying? defense gonna score. That's how they gonna score. Yeah. Fucking Dak throw the interceptions and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, it's funny way. Yeah, man. Uh, Sauce Gardner might get a pick six. No, I mean he might get a pick <laughs> six. No, I mean, he might get a pick six. No, I mean somebody might get a yeah. pick six. No, I mean, no I mean, it might be him. No, I mean, he might get a pick six. No, I mean who knows, uh-huh. man. I mean, it might be but Dallas going to win, you know what I yeah. mean? Don't, 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 don't even think twice about it. We're going to go out there. We're going to uh, win this game, take care of business. We can't let – we can't do no Josh Allen shit. You know I mean, that guy, that Prescott can't – you see what happened last weekend. You better just know that I can't lose this game for my team because his defense is nice as shit. And all you got to do is just manage the game. That's what I got to do, man. Yeah, yeah. They don't really, do no that shit. Yeah, they, they – 
Yeah, is Jerry Jones ready to get him out of here for a bag of donuts? You know what I mean? Oh, ready to trade shit. him. He had to trade him on the uh like the uh what's the John uh the Will Farrell John semi pro when he traded Bull Bull then he traded me traded my man for a washing machine <laughs> trade, <laughs> gonna trade that for for a washing dryer you know what I mean gonna come back that's uh, what we traded you for we traded you for the washing dryer like no these the new Jones that you you stack them on top of each other. Right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, the new Maytag collection. You know what I mean? God damn. You know what I mean? So, up. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? The scratch. Yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll, whatever you can give me, the scratch and dent joints. Like, no. Oh, you know fuck. I mean? He's not even working on new shit. God damn. You know what I mean? But you know. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm expecting them to win, but no, nah, I mean, you never know, man. That's out, man. That's messed up. They probably had all, they had all this stuff lined up. Man, they probably he probably they probably the game of the week, bunch of times they probably on Sunday night football, and all that. He done for the season. See, that's what I mean, man. Dang, <laughs> I mean the script, man. It's the script. You know what I mean, it's the script. <laughs> you know what I mean, the script script is undefeated. You know what I mean? Damn. I hear you, bro. I hear you. All right. All right. Next, we got Washington at Denver. Denver is minus three and a half point favorites. What? It was so funny. This game, but like, yo. It's trash. Yeah, it's trash. And then total point spread is 38 and a half. So, like you said, it's trash. So, I'm going with the under, under 38 and a half point total. Um, I don't like neither offense like that. So, it's going to be a trash ass game. Like, you like you laugh at, you know what I mean? Yeah, see. Okay, all right. Are they playing? They playing at Denver, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because of the time difference and all that, we might have to see that on TV. When I mean the Jones, we gonna probably see is Dallas. Yeah, yeah. We gonna see the Dallas Jones, but the one o'clock game. Because I was about to say, what's the one o'clock game? Because you know, here in Philly, they'll like show us whoever play in the division. You see what I'm saying? If the mm-hmm. Eagles not on, they'll they'll show us who are playing the division because they think that's the most meaningful game to us. Somebody else they're playing the division. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, that ain't going to be the 1 o'clock game because they playing in Denver. So good. We ain't got to see that. No, no, no. You ain't got to see that shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nah, I don't even think Sierra want to see that shit. She'll right. probably be on some on the road. Uh, all right. We got Miami and New England next. Miami is minus two-point favorites. Over under 46 and a half. Uh... It's kind of tough. the point point spread kind of scaring me. Mm-hmm. I, I would think like I would think Miami would be favored by like four points. You know, mm-hmm. he was favored by like four points last week against the weekend, and Miami only got only favored by two. Mm-hmm. So this is like Las Vegas. They be trying to set traps. Mm-hmm. They set a low ass spread. They like everybody going like, oh Miami going to trash and they going to blow them out, and then Vegas know something, mm-hmm. and then New England going to end up winning the fucking game. Yeah, so for, I don't like this line. It's kind of scaring me. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Because because Vegas Vegas writing the goddamn script. You know what I mean? They the one writing the goddamn <laughs> script because they probably figure that all right. They just probably giving that respect to Bill Belichick that he might not lose two games in a row. You know what I'm saying lose two two weeks in a row or something like that. Not not I mean might mm-hmm. be something weird like that. You know what I'm saying? Some mm-hmm. some some weird reason like that or something like that. You know. You know. Yeah. So I'm I'm stay away from that game. I can't call it, man. That that point spread just kind of scares me. Mm. Um. So next we got this. We got two Monday night games next week. Damn. The first one is uh right. <laughs> first one, New Orleans at Carolina. New Orleans is minus three point favorites, and the over under is 40, 40 and a half. Um, uh, division game. They always tough. Uh. I, I can't. I got no pain on it because I, 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 if I if I had to pick somebody, I pick New Orleans. Mm. I just think the defense will shut down Carolina. Uh, but I already had no pain on this joint. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, whoever win win. No, I mean, chances are it might be New Orleans, just because. I don't, I think Carolina, man, they just got too many growing pains to go through, man. They 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 they, they, they gonna be discombobulated for a while. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they try yeah. to they try to get everything together, man. So they might have a season where they they they, they might go five hundred or something this season. You know what I'm saying you never know. You know what I mean, I mean the quarterback they got yeah. is talented, but they going they they got to go through the growing pains. You know what I'm saying they're just trying to get everything on track, 
I mean, moving pieces around. I mean, they're not going to do too much this year. I mean, I don't think that means that the quarterback is terrible. I think he's he's a good quarterback, but look where you at. I mean, you got, I mean, they got some work to do. I mean, they got some work to do. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I. I expect New Orleans to win. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's times where he might be like, kind of like how Trevor Lawrence was, where it's like, okay, you can see he good, but they mm-hmm. just not winning, and then he might throw a couple interceptions every kind of like how Trevor Lawrence was, where it's like, all right, mm-hmm. he'll throw two touchdowns for every two touchdowns he throwing one interception. Though it's like he throwing an interception all the time, but he throwing touchdowns, but he also throwing interceptions. So as you can see the talent was there. You know what I'm saying? But I think. I kind of think that they 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 gonna be discombobulated for a while. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, man. I see, I see, I see New Orleans probably getting the win. You know what I mean? Out of them, you know what I mean? You know. Okay. Yeah, I just see them get. I I just I just see them getting the win. You know what I mean? So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Next, next we got Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Uh, this is the last game of the week. Cleveland is minus two and a half point favorites. Over under is thirty nine and a half. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think, will bounce back, get the win, cover, win the game outright. I mean, I just got to rock out with Pittsburgh. I, I, I just like the coach, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to rock out with Pittsburgh and have them beat Cleveland. Uh, it might be a low scoring game. Both defenses respectable, even though Pittsburgh ain't sure last week, but they do got good defense. So uh, I'm going to rock out with Pittsburgh for this. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, man. I mean, who knows, man? That might be. You saying it's gonna be? You you think it's gonna be a low scoring game? Um, uh, it could be. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't I, know. I, I was thinking. I, I was thinking. The, I was thinking the opposite. I thought it was gonna be a shootout, man. I don't know. I don't know why this thing is gonna be a okay. shootout. I don't know why. Now, I mean, I, I can't. I can't explain to you why. Why I think it's gonna be a shootout. I just think this is gonna be back and forth. You know what I mean? They, okay. You know what I mean, these ain't your grand. You know I mean, this ain't your grandfather's Browns versus Steelers, where the Jonas, <laughs> where they they went they went in kicking off field goals and somebody winning nine to six. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what right, I mean? Right. So it ain't it, it ain't it just ain't like that no more. But um, I'm expecting. I don't I don't know. Just I'm expecting the Steelers to win. You know, I think it's gonna be a shootout. I think the Steelers gonna win. <laughs> I don't know, just just kind of mm-hmm. like the the whole flow of the season. Like, all right, they lost last week, so I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna lose two weeks in a row. And then the Browns won last week, so I think that they probably gonna get a loss. I I I, I just think it's just, just it's just like the flow of the season. Just like you know what I mean, the flow of the yeah. season just gonna go. You know what I mean, for no reason other than yeah. that. You know what I mean, it ain't it ain't, it ain't, it ain't no real reason other than that. Just just you know what I mean, just just the flow of the season. You know what I mean, so okay, that was the last game. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, man. That was the last game. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. Those are all the games. So, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, as, as time go on, you know what I mean, when, 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 my, when my brother breaking everything down, y'all like the, like, like, like the ones who kind of like kind of like learning as y'all going along, as y'all listening and all that, y'all can get these things more and more and more, you know what I mean? So, so y'all can have a better understanding of how y'all betting, you know what I mean? So y'all don't just be out there betting like uh like like females. Like like this team's colors. So I'm betting on this team and don't know what the numbers is and don't know what nothing means and all that. So some of y'all get an idea of what y'all, you know what I mean, what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying now one, you know what I mean, let me I mean again, let me say this. We are not gambling we are not experts. You know what I'm saying? We're not mm-hmm. experts, you know what I mean? So so use this information. Know what I mean? At your own risk. You know what I'm saying? Don't we ain't we don't plan we, we don't claim to be aficionados and all the official people. You know what I mean? We not we're not Vegas people. We don't we don't we don't we don't work. We don't work for no casino, none of that. You know what I mean? So use uh-huh. this information at your own risk. You know what I mean? So don't be coming to me about yo man, y'all said this was this and this was that. We don't we we, we do not work for Vegas. We don't work for no casino, no sports book, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? So this right here, now I mean you take this information and do and, and, and do what you will with it. So um mm-hmm. yeah, let me um I think that I think I think we basically covered everything. You know what I mean? You got anything else you want to say? Um 
No, I mean, I think last week was, it was a lot of unders. Uh, hopefully, there'll be a lot more overs this week because, you know, people like to bet overs. People like to bet touchdowns and stuff like that, seeing points. So, hopefully, this week will change up and be a lot more overs. And then, you know, every week is always an underdog that going to win a game straight up, you know what I mean, outright. You know, they've got these high favorites and all that. One of them always lose, so... Okay. You know, just watch yourself this week. You know, all these teams is favored by more than seven points or something like that. They don't always cover the spread. I mean, somebody's going to lose. So, I mean, it's just fun to me to see them favorites, some high favorites. It's, it's fun for me to see them lose. I, I like betting underdogs. I like betting unders. It's like giving me free points. That's why I like betting underdogs. So that's my strategy. I always look for the, the perfect underdog to bet on that week. Okay. But okay. I'm just looking for a good week, man. I'm not, I got nothing more to say, man. I'm just happy to be on here, and um, hopefully we can keep uh, informing these people and um, helping people, you know, learn more about gambling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Um, let me end it like this, you know what I'm saying, with the, you know, it's the script. You know what I mean? I believe that. I'm not I'm not trying to start no conspiracy theory, but, you um, know what I mean, I believe <laughs> – <laughs> I mean, I believe it's the script. So we're gonna see who the script take us this this year. You know what I mean? Um let me end by saying, um, you know, earn an ISO podcast. You know what I mean? That's that's that that's that's first and foremost, even though this is the ISO versus the world um show, expansion team, week two. Um mm-hmm. let me say like, share, comment, subscribe, review. You know what I mean, we like to thank all the listeners, you know what I mean? All the people that enjoy the content, especially everybody who who jumping up going crazy saying they love this show. You know what I mean? Because this show got a lot of love. You know what I mean? That week one episode went crazy for us. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know what I mean? He ain't, I, I keep I keep I keep being about to say in studio, but you know what I mean, he wasn't here with me, you know what I mean? In the house with me, but you know, we talked to him on the phone. I said, you know what I mean, we're gonna try to do that the times that he can't get down here, can't be here. Still gonna try to, you know I mean, talk to him on the phone. So, you know what I mean, this one right here to me was a success. You know what I mean, hopefully, listen to the um to the audio. The audio sounds decent. You know what I mean, if you hear, I mean, to, to me listening to it, it sounds decent. But you know, when you get the playback and all that, you know what I mean, if not, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. we'll try to work on that. But um, mission accomplished. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I mean, I, I, I was able to hook the hook, you know I mean, hook the phone up and all that. You know what I mean, get this done. So, so that's a little small win for me. Like I said, you know what I mean, my co-host. He the one handles all the technical stuff. Like I tell y'all, I just show up. You know what I mean? I just show up and get busy. You know what I mean? All this, all the technical and equipment <laughs> stuff. You know what I mean? My man, you know what I mean? my co-host earned. You know what I'm saying? He the, he the whole, you know what I mean? He the whole like Manny Fresh of the joint. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. The, you know what I mean? He the engine to make just make the joint go. You know what I mean? He glue the whole everything together, make everything go. So, you know, um, uh-huh. shout out to him. But you know. I said, man, thank y'all for the success, man. We having the success. Thank y'all. And I, I like to say, um, I said, I said this before on the Earning ISO podcast, but not, not I mean, I'm going to say this on mine, man. Thank you to Reddit for deeming the Earning ISO podcast as the fastest growing podcast in the world. You know what I mean? That's crazy mm. to me, man. That's crazy that. Perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's crazy that Reddit, you know what I mean? One of the biggest places in the world. Feel like we are, you know what I mean? A podcast that I'm a part of is the fastest growing podcast in the world. You know what I mean? Out of all podcasts, all categories, in all countries, you deem us the number one fastest growing podcast in the world. We appreciate that. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to um, end it like that. I really ain't got too much more to say. Like I said, this is, um, I mean, we're going to put this one out too. So y'all should, y'all should hear this one probably um, on a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not me going to hit us on on a Saturday, but this is actually an ISO versus the world episode. You know, we're going to put it out on the on the Earn an ISO platform so I can listen to it. But all the ones after this, chances are, are going to be on ISO versus the world, which you got to subscribe for. You know what I'm saying? So so I guess maybe not, not me, all the shows I mean after are going to be on ISO versus the world. You know what I'm saying? What you got to subscribe for. So you know, um, I think okay. I think right now it's Patreon for sure, and we'll let you know if it's um if it's also um Apple. And I mean, chances are it's gonna, those are gonna be the two places that that, that you that you want to subscribe for. You know what I mean? 
right now I think the the prices are like three ninety nine for Apple and like five dollars for Patreon. You know what I mean? So I think that's what it's gonna be. But um, you know, you know what I mean, thank everybody, you know what I mean? And um thank you, bro, for being on here, breaking down, you know what I mean, sharing your knowledge and all that type of stuff, you know what I mean? Helping educate, you know what I mean, the listeners. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure we're gonna get new listeners just because of you. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. And I appreciate what you bring to the table and what y'all bring up. You know I mean? What you bring to my podcast. You know what I mean? Bring them the earning ISO platform, bring to the brand. So, you know what I mean? I just like to All thank right. you, man. You know what I mean? Thanks a lot. You know what I mean? And so we you know we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this, you know what I mean, weekend goes as far as football. And you know what I mean, so we can work things out. You know what I mean? We hopefully be back with the week two recap and you know, going to week three. You know what I mean? So Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So everything Look good. Look forward to it. All right. No. Now I'll be talking to you, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, be safe out there. All right, bro. You too.